guys, I'm going to try to do something different in this video. I'm going to try to keep it very short. I have a lot to go through, and I'm going to break it up into a few different videos. Today, I want to talk about ChatGPT, of course, and Halo PSA. Halo PSA recently pushed to beta version 116 uh, of their product, and that includes a built-in ChatGPT integration. And I want to see, I want to show you what that looks like and how to configure it. Um, so there's a different, a few different ways to use ChatGPT integration. I'm going to go through one of the most, uh, or the first one listed actually. Um, so if you're looking at uh, the release notes, let me just pull that up real quick. And let's delete that and that and that and that. Um, and you go to 116, we will see that ChatGPT integration has been added. And if you expand it, you'll see that the very first thing is use ChatGPT to improve an agent note or email. How does that work? There's a couple hidden things about this. It says that um, this will allow agent to write a brief email response to customer, which ChatGPT will correct any spelling or grammar issues and rewrite the email to sound more polite. The updated email is shown on the email preview screen before the email is sent. Here's the part that's not mentioned is that you can't actually modify what's in this screen, not by default, at least. So let's go take a look at setting this up. We're going to go to configuration. What you want to do is you want to go to integrations down here. I'll just navigate to it, scroll to the bottom, and you'll see chat GPT. You want to click the plus to add it in and then open it up. You want to paste your API key in here. And that's basically it. You're done as far as setup of the global integration. Now, you will need to use an API key of an account that has a billing account assigned. If it's on free prepaid plan, I don't think it works. Um, so you'll need to make sure that you have a credit card in your OpenAI account. The next thing that we need to do based off the release note is we need to configure an action. So we already have the built-in action for the email user. I'm just going to modify that email user action, and I'm going to adjust it to say what I want. Now, I'm not being very creative right now. I'm just being very, very vanilla to show you how to do it. Under At the bottom, if you edit the action and scroll down, you have the ability to set this from none to improve agent note. This is the email action. So we have the note in here, and we have it is not a quick action, um, and so on and so forth. So we have the ability to click improve agent note. We can put a, provide a prompt to ChatGPT and then include um, the rich action note that gets passed to ChatGPT. So this is to tell it what to do, and this is the note that it's going to perform the action on. Uh, so that's the prompt that we're using, an AI model, and improve agent note. So we'll go ahead and save that. The last thing that we want to do is maybe one setting, maybe two settings, depending on what you have right now, is that for outbound email over here, we want to make sure that the show email preview after an email action is checked. And then we also want to allow actions to be edited on the email preview screen. OK, so that way you can actually modify the response that comes back. Otherwise, it's it's a preview only. It's a read only message and you won't be able to change it uh, with this. You'll be able to modify it if you check that box before it goes out. Obviously, you don't really want to trust ChatGPT right now with, uh, you know, carte blanche access to do stuff. Um, and let's go and take a look at what that looks like. So I have here the text of a fairly rude message. And I will uh, read it out loud so that everyone can follow along. It says, dear dollar sign first name. This is going to be a variable. It's going to get replaced. I'm happy to inform you that we were able to fix your device despite your best efforts to break it. Please make sure to follow the instructions in the future so that you don't have to rely on our superior technical skills to fix your mistakes. We understand that some people struggle with basic technology, but we're always here to help those in need. Just try to remember that if you had followed our instructions in the first place, you wouldn't have had to suffer the embarrassment of needing our help. Please let us know if you have any other further issues and need fixing due to your own incompetence. Obviously, this is not an email you want to be ha have sent out to a customer for real. Um, I actually had to... Uh, push chat GPT to give me this email as an example to provide it to showcase this demo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click send, and it's going to take a little bit longer than it normally does send an email because it's actually communicating with chat GPT right now, and it's waiting uh, to get the response back from chat GPT, and now it's going to provide, dear Mendy, we're pleased to inform you that we were able to repair your device despite the challenges it presented us. 
It's different. We encourage you to follow the instructions provided in the future to avoid the need for our exceptional technical skills when reading errors. Okay, this entire sentence is unnecessary, and even this one is unnecessary, and we're just going to remove it. Notice how I can edit it. And this is not needed. And there you go. We have now modified the email that's been fixed by ChatGPT, and now we can send it out. That's it for the demo. Uh, upcoming videos will showcase how to improve the agent notes so that they can they can see and change it without it being an email. Um, sorry, that's what we just did. Uh, the, <laughs> the upcoming demos are going to be uh, writing a response to the user and using ChatGPT with inside a live chat bot. And then finally, we'll do a demo on the custom integrations and integration run books with ChatGPT. Like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Thanks for watching.